Hello guys and today I'm going to show you my review of the Asus ROG Flow Z13. So without any further ado, let's get started. The Asus ROG Flow Z13 is a 2-in-1 laptop tablet which is designed for gaming and offers some excellent price to performance for a laptop of this type. One of this laptop's counterparts on the Microsoft side include the Microsoft Surface which this one blows out of the water at least in terms of performance. This is a 2-in-1 designed primarily for gaming and still has all the basic perks of being a laptop tablet hybrid. In terms of pricing, this model of the ROG Flow Z13 which features an RTX 3050 GPU comes in at around $1,300 on Amazon and you'll find the link for it in the description to check for more details. In this review, we'll be going over the most important components of a laptop including its build quality and design, port selection and input, keyboard and trackpad, sound quality, display, performance, thermals and battery life. So first, let's talk about the build quality and design of the ROG Flow Z13. The ROG Flow Z13's design is quite gamer oriented with it even having RGB lights on the back which is to be expected of an ASUS gaming machine. The tablet feels extremely solid, being completely made of aluminum and feeling very premium in the hand. The laptop weighs in at about 1.1 kilos without the keyboard and with the keyboard, it's around 1.5 kg which is still quite light if you consider this as a gaming laptop. There is also a kickstand here which can extend to about 170 degrees and leaves a good impression as there is no wobble in the hinges. Overall, the build is quite solid and looks the part for its price. The port selection and input of the Z13 is good for a tablet. The tablet has one USB 2.0 type A Gen 1 port, two USB type C ports in which one is Thunderbolt, a headphone microphone combo jack, power in and the ROG XG port. The ROG XG port can also be used as an additional USB type C port and the main reason for this port is that it allows you to connect an external GPU such as an RTX 3080 and just give insane performance for this size of a laptop. The overall port selection is also pretty decent for a 2-in-1 and most 2-in-1s don't offer even half of this. The cameras here are about what you'd expect as they are usable but nothing too impressive. The 2-in-1 features a 720p front camera and an 8 megapixel rear camera which can shoot full HD video. The cameras are better than most laptops even with the lackluster 720p quality on the front facing webcam and are on the same level as some decent tablets. The keyboard and trackpad of the ROG Flow Z13 are decent enough. Here, you get a detachable keyboard like the one on the Surface Pro. The keyboard is backlit and supports RGB and the keys have good travel to them even though the keyboard itself is quite thin. The only negative part about this is the trackpad which is quite small but if given enough time with the trackpad, you can get used to it quite easily. There is however a slight bend and flex when pressure is applied to the keyboard and that is to be expected of a keyboard on a 2-in-1 laptop. The sound on this seems quite good too. The speakers are loud and have a good amount of pace and clarity to them. Even though it is definitely not on the same level as an iPad or a Galaxy tablet, it can still be comparable to some degree. The display on the ROG Flow Z13 is excellent for gaming as well as editing. The tablet features a 13.4 inch Full HD IPS touchscreen display with a 120Hz refresh rate. The colors on the display are accurate with a 100% sRGB coverage, the panel is bright and also has good viewing angles. The display has a 16x10 aspect ratio which is not the usual 16x9 format which you get in most devices and even though it might provide you more screen space for editing and such, it will also give you black bars on YouTube videos and many games also don't support this ratio. Overall, the panel is still an excellent one for media consumption and gaming. Now we'll get into the performance of the Flow Z13. The specs of the tablet include an Intel Core i7-12700H CPU. 16 GB of LPDDR5 RAM, a 512 GB PCI SSD, and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. This is an insane spec list for a tablet style laptop and offers unrivaled performance in this segment. With this, you should be able to play most games at 1080p at decent settings, and editing 4K videos should also be possible too. Asus has also provided the option to get more performance using the mobile XG dock, and you can upgrade the GPU here like you can with a PC for future use. The thermals on this are decent for a 2-in-1. ASUS has opted for a vapor chamber cooling system rather than a heatsink for the CPU and GPU and it does seem to work quite well and cool the laptop efficiently in high loads as well. Another reason why ASUS must have opted for the vapor chamber was for better cooling when paired with the mobile XG dock. Overall, the performance and thermals are both satisfactory in my opinion. The battery life of the ROG Flow Z13 
is below average. The tablet has a 56 watt battery pack, which can give you only about 4 hours of screen on time when you're doing moderate tasks, but when you're stressing the tablet by gaming or doing editing or rendering tasks, you'll have to keep the tablet plugged in as both the battery drains fast and you won't be getting the most performance capable on battery mode as well. One positive is the charging due to it having a 100 watt charger, which can easily charge the tablet from 0 to 100 in less than 2 hours. So the final verdict for the Asus ROG Flow Z13 is that for around $1,300, you get a good spec list, a premium and unique design, and a great display, all in a 2-in-1 form factor. The only negative part about the tablet is its battery life, as you'll not be able to get much screen on time when playing games, but other than that, it is a decent choice if you're looking to go for a Surface alternative. So that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.